Hey there everybody, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be about the infamous toy line from 1988 uh, by Mattel, Food Fighters. Yo, Burgundy, you want this? You'll never cut the mustard, mean winner! Is that a freaking awesome commercial or what? Love it. But I love this toy line. Um, it seems to be pretty forgotten about among most people until they have a reminder, they see a toy or they hear a name. Then they usually, it usually uh, brings back some memories. But uh, I'm going to show you my collection. I have uh, the whole toy line. They made 10 figures. And they made three vehicles. I don't own the vehicles. I'd like to get those sometime in the future, but uh, I have all the figures. So I'm going to show those to you, go over them with you, talk about protective cases that they make for uh, figures like this, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So first things first, they had um, good guys and they had bad guys. So the bad guys were referred to as the refrigerator rejects, as you can see there. Um, they're the bad guys, the evil ones. The good guys referred to as the Kitchen Commandos. So there was five of each. They made a couple different variants of a couple of them. Different colors um, was, is really about it. But some of them are, are pretty hard to find. Uh, you might be able to track them down on eBay here and there, but like a, a single uh, variant, like first off, Major Munch. I'll show you guys him first. They make a, a cherry one too, it's red. He, he by himself loose not on the card um you'll probably be paying about 150 for something like that and these these have seemed to go up in price a lot over the last few years um i know i got i, I paid like 40 or 50 for a couple of them but it seems like nowadays the going rate seems to be double that in a, in a lot of uh, cases so it seemed to only be going up in value and I, I ended up getting lucky and finding a guy on instagram a toy seller in uh florida who sold me i think five or six of these at least for I think like 250 so that was a pretty good deal a few years ago so I definitely took it but starting off we'll start with Major Munch he's a kitchen commando comes with a an assault rifle and a backpack and the, the way you can uh, differentiate between the, the good and evil are good guys and bad guys good guys and kitchen commandos they always have green so he's got green underneath his donut costume there not really costume that's what he really is but they were green, the bad guys were black. So Major Munch, these are awesome too because they give you a bio about them. And there's always stories too. They have a paragraph up here for each guy. And then they have an actual bio, which is really cool, food freshness file. So Major Munch's nickname is Doughboy, and he is from Cincinnati. Uh, yeah, weaknesses, everything, all the goals, hobbies, putting holes and everything. And then they have uh, a detailed... Uh, description of all the all the characters in the actual line and then there's the vehicles too the fried chopper is one of them and the barbecue bomber and also the combat carton which is freaking awesome the combat carton is like uh, it's a carton of eggs and then a uh, plastic carton of eggs and then they have a ketchup bottle like cannon that fires projectiles I always wanted that one I see it sometimes but it, I feel like it's always like 100 bucks 150 bucks so I haven't uh, committed to, to buying that yet so that's major munch I love the, the logo too. Combat is at, at its kookiest. Pretty cool. And then the next guy for the Kitchen Commandos is Sergeant Scoop. And he is also one that you can possibly find a variant for. I've seen like a, an orange one that you can find sometimes. Very, very rare again. Uh, this is the more common version that I picked up a few years ago. but. Also has similar accessories. He's got a, a machine gun, it looks like, and a green backpack. He's got the green, the green uh, sleeves and pants on. Fruit, f uh, food freshness file. Look at he split is his nickname. He's from Montana. There's another uh, story up there about him. His quote is, "It's not whether you win or lose; it's how you slurp your cone." So some of these have some pretty corny lines on them, but I freaking love this toy line. I think they're awesome. I love the colors of the card. And the artwork, I think it's awesome. I think I had this guy when I was younger, Brigadier General. 
he's actually the leader of the Kitchen Commandos. So he's a guy that calls the shots, and he looks like a pretty tough dude. You can see his his mus his muscles there. These figures are always really detailed too. The one thing is, it's basically like hollow plastic. Like you, you can squeeze these guys. I don't know if you can kind of see it there a little bit. I don't want to damage the bubble, but uh, they're almost like dog toys. And basically, they're the exact same thing, but they're hollow on the inside. So I think my uh, our old dogs would would run off of them and chew them up here and there. Here's his food freshness file. The nickname is Hambo. He's from Oklahoma. His goal is to defeat the mean wiener, which you'll see here in a few minutes coming up. And his quote is to go where no burger has gone before. So, pretty cool. I'm not going to sit here and read off all the stories to you or anything, but I'm sure you could pause it and read it yourself if you want to. But he's got the same accessories. I think he actually has a handgun and then the backpack there. A lot of detail to these figures, too. Really cool. They got the sesame seeds on top of the bun there. And then we have Lieutenant Leg is a, a chicken bone or chicken wing. And he's also a kitchen commando. You can see the detailed muscles on, on his arm there. He looks absolutely pissed the hell off right there. He's either really pissed or really scared. I'd say he's more angry than anything at the refrigerator, refrigerator rejects. Probably pissed him off. I'm sure it probably says him on the back of the card there. But his nickname is Big Clock. He looks really mad in that uh, that cartoon drawing. And he is from Georgia. And his quote is, Birds of a feather fight together. So, Lieutenant Leg. Pretty awesome. And the very last guy of the Kitchen Commandos is Private Pizza. And I always love this guy, even though he looks like a huge nerd. And I don't, I don't know, just has his tongue hanging out of his mouth. He almost looks like a dog. He was getting yelled at or scolded. And um, he come, he also comes with an assault rifle and a, a green backpack. Details on him are pretty good too. You see pepperoni, you see mushrooms on there. He's got a pepperoni eye patch there. And he is nicknamed Pizza the Gut. And he is from Pepperoni, Pennsylvania. So he's in uh, probably close to my hometown. That's funny, his goal, to make a lot of dough. <laughs> yeah, see, these things are pretty corny, but they're, they're still awesome, though. And there's another story up there about him. Quote, a pizza in the oven is worth two on delivery. And now, the what you see him in is actually a protective case from uh, a website called Zolo World. There's only really two sites that I know that um, manufacture uh, protective cases for action figures. Zoloworld.com is one of them. As you can see, the only thing I don't like about this is they, they didn't really make, um, or they never made cases particular for this tour line because it's, I guess it's due to, you know, not being as popular as other ones. So you kind of have to go and measure the dimensions like of the card, like the, the length and width of it, how big the bubbles are of the, of the figures in, and then kind of just try to find one on their websites that fits that perfectly. I obviously couldn't do that. I think this is the closest that I found. I think these were actually four real Ghostbusters figures. And they were the closest dimensions I could find at the time, a couple of years ago in Zola World. So that's really what I don't like about it. I mean, they display great. You know, you can hang them up and, and on the wall or whatever and display them. But I just don't like how big this overall bubble is compared to the actual figure. And the nice thing about Zola World is they have this patent technology where... Um, they have this interlocking mechanism that actually flattens your cards. So, I'll show you an example here. I got one of these the other day in the mill. But this Peter Pan, as you can tell, is bent pretty bad. So, if I would find a case, um, you know, that would fit this Peter Pan to the dimensions of that, it should be able to, you know, put it in there, display it in the same time. Over time, it will actually flatten the card out. I mean, you can do the exact same thing with books, but... Uh, um, pretty cool though nonetheless when it fits it, it'll straighten it out and uh, it locks in there pretty tight so if the case would drop or something like that it won't snap open on you next we have the refrigerator rejects and these guys all look pretty pissed off and they look like they mean business um, first up I guess we'll start with old mean wiener he's actually the leader of the refrigerator rejects 
doesn't look that angry. It looks like his mouth just full of hot dog. But as you can tell, their clothes are all black. Black backpack for these guys. He's got a handgun in there. His nickname is Mad Dog. And he's from Iowa. And you can tell there's some beef there. His goal is to grill Burgundier Generals. So they got some beef that they got to handle. There's a cheesy quote on there too. But the rest of the cards are the same as... Uh, the kitchen commandos so he's the leader and then next I think this has always been one of my personal favorites when I was a kid Fat Frenchy um, for some reason he always reminded me of Guile from Street Fighter 2 he just I don't know maybe it's, maybe it's the fries it reminds me of his hair he's still even got a little helmet on up there too on top of that so he's got the black backpack he's got a, a handgun as well bunch of muscles pretty detailed his nickname is ketchup head and he's from Idaho goal to change his nickname so there's there's a brief story about some sort of recent brawl between the two the two sides but I definitely had him when I was younger too and he's he's definitely hollow in there perfect for a dog to grab and run off with which would be <laughs> awful because these guys are pretty valuable so that's Fat Frenchy, pretty cool. And next we have Chip the Ripper, and he looks pretty angry about something that happened recently, so who knows what that is, but he's got an assault rifle, black backpack, very, very detailed. He's got a, a combat belt on there, there's a grenade I see, and they definitely made another variant for him too that I think it was like a, a black, or like a fudge cookie or something like that, and like white. I don't know, macadamia nuts. I feel like I've seen that before. He's got a black helmet on. And uh, his nickname is Batter Breath. And he is the whole way from Colorado. It's a long way from here. Quote, that's the way that this cookie crumbles. There's his story, Ambush in the Kitchen Sink. From a recent uh, battle they had together. I always liked him too. Awesome toy line. I really like these figures a lot. And then we have Taco Terror up next. And the detail on him is pretty amazing. You see they have, uh, looks like some tomatoes. They got some guacamole, some lettuce. There's the meat in there, looks like some salsa. He's got the, the black uniform on him underneath there. And it looks like he has a handgun as well, black backpack. Old Taco Terror, it looks pretty angry about something too. And his nickname is Meathead. So, greasing the enemy is his hobby. His quote is, candy is dandy, but tacos are macho. So you can see how kind of cheesy these, these are, but they, they, it was definitely done deliberately, but for kids, obviously, but awesome toy line. I love looking at these, they're great. And the very last one is Short Stack. Over the years, I guess he kind of got repositioned in his cart a little bit there, but the stack of hotcakes, his one leg is kind of turned sideways too. There's a stack of hotcakes, he's pretty detailed too. Looks kind of like uh, he's just indifferent about everything going on right now between the kitchen commandos. He comes with an assault rifle and a black backpack. And his nickname is Flat Top. And his goal in life is to become a short order cook. And he enjoys juggling waffle irons in his spare time. And his quote is, what goes up sometimes sticks to the ceiling. And there's his recent story as well, if you want to pause that and check it out. But uh, overall, really, really cool toy line. I wish I had the vehicles to show you. Um, maybe if I come across this sometime soon, I'll definitely uh, buy them up and make a video about them as well. But thank you very much for watching. And... Uh, if you remember this toy line, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Um, also, let me know what you collect. And um, I will have part two of the rookie card video coming this weekend. And I'm uh, going to do a giveaway in that one. So definitely stay tuned for that. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.